What is up you guys, Game Nut here, and welcome back to some more Madden 17 Ultimate Team. I have yet another pack opening for you guys today because we've got some pretty fire Team of the Week content for our last week of the NFL season. So as I said, NFL regular season has been wrapped up. Most of our teams have been eliminated from the playoffs. We're not going to get to see them play for many more months to come, which definitely sucks. We still have a little bit of football left, you know, with playoffs and all, but... As for some of our teams, the regular season and football is currently done. But for this last final Week 17 Team of the Week, we've got two career tribute players that are limited time for Team of the Week, and they are pretty good, man. Here we've got the first one, which is going to be a 94 overall Robert Mathis from the Colts, of course. You see the stats. I don't know if I'd say it's surprising to see this guy retire. I mean, we all knew it was probably coming eventually at some point. Of course, it always sucks to see guys like him, you know, Obvious legends, people that had a huge impact in the game retire, and we're not going to get to see them ever play another game. It definitely sucks. You're not going to really realize it until once you get to that next season and we don't see him play on the field. But first guy, Robert Mathis. Of course, it would be amazing to get this guy for our team. Now, the second player, oh, man, you guys already know, Steve Smith Sr., it still hurts to think I'm never going to get to see this guy suit up in a purple uniform again. I, I just don't even want to think about it, man. It sucks, but what a way to cap it off if we can get this final team of the week, limited time, Steve Smith senior card, 94 overall. I mean, of course, I know a lot of people are going to say he didn't really deserve a team of the week because he didn't have a whole lot of catches, which I understand that's not really his fault. It's uh, somebody else's fault on the team, but aside from that, we've got Steve Smith here. I have to pull this card. I mean... I want to have another Steve Smith card on my team at some point. I'm sure after this one, maybe we'll get like an Ultimate Legend version hint or something like that, which will probably be like 97, 98, or 99 overall. But for now, we've got this Team of the Week, which is a 94 overall. And of course, when it's a player like this, I just have to open the packs that I have to see if I can get him for myself. Now, just a quick little side note right here. What you guys are seeing on the screen, I know the quality is a little bit bad, but... I didn't have my Elgato recording, so that's why, you know, you're not seeing the best quality from this, you know, pack opening right here, but this is basically on my second account, where I'll go do some extra solo challenges over there to make a couple extra coins, maybe get some of the more of the free packs that you get from those solos, so I can, you know, have more chances at opening some better players, but these were from the ultimate free solo challenges, and as you guys are seeing, look who decided to pop up in my pack, like, I was not expecting this whatsoever, but here's the thing, like, you guys all know what the Mutthead website is, you know, all the database with every single card that's in Ultimate Team, we get to see the prices, the stats, you know, all that good stuff, but this 93 overall version of Brett Favre isn't on there, so, like, I was completely confused, like, where did this card come from, like, I didn't even know that it existed, and I can't believe that I actually pulled it out of a pack, so, like, is this technically my first Legend pull, like, I don't know if you would consider it that because, I mean, obviously Brett Favre's a legend in the game. This isn't like his actual full 96 overall legend legend version of the card, but like, hey man, this might be my first legend pool. You guys are seeing the price on your screen right now. There's only one up for 235,000 coins, so like, crazy pool, man. I don't know how I got this, but regardless, from this free pack that I got, I still got myself a 93 overall Brett Favre. So transferring back over to what is now our normal main account with all of our coins and everything. Unopened packs. 49 unopened packs. I have so many packs to open up for Steve Smith. I've been saving up, well, all of these, these are just like a couple of badges and then this is from doing the gauntlet. But ignoring that, all of these packs are basically from doing solo challenges, the gauntlet. Obviously these Arctic and Farve packs are from doing the ultimate freeze challenges, but... I'm going to try to open up as many as I can, but if you guys take a look up at the top of the screen, um, my binder is almost filled completely, so we're going to get to a point when these packs, I'm not going to be able to open them anymore because I have no more room in my binder, so currently my max binder space is 1400, we've got 170 cards that we can fill up until we are done, and then after that I might have to see if I can discard some stuff, but like, I don't want to quick sell anything because everything has value in this game and I, that's just not me. I'm not quick selling nothing. So for now, I guess we're going to open up some of these bigger packs and then we'll, you know, usually I start from the bottom and then work our way up. I think I'm going to start with the bigger packs this time and then work our way down because we don't have that much space left in our binder. So I guess let's just start jumping into these packs. So we're going to start things off 
by opening up an Arctic pack. Let's see what we can get out of this. I'm not exactly sure. I know we get some of the frozen collectibles, but I don't know how many gold players we can get. So, okay, we've got to add a position player. Not really worth too much of anything, but uh, yeah, not the best pack. We've got four Favre packs. You know, we've got that 93 overall Favre on our team. Imagine if I pulled that on this account as well. That was on my backup account, like I said to you guys, but imagine if I pulled a second one. Like, that would be wild, man, but... Three gold players come out of these packs. These are actually all three solid gold players to get. Now, I am probably going to skip around with a couple of these packs, especially because if I get packs that have all gold players and really aren't, you know, too exciting to see, why would I waste your guys' time and show you something like that, like like this pack? Like, I'm not going to show you guys this. This will be the last pack that I show you guys that's just all gold players because it's not really worth it. So that binder space is filling up pretty quickly. We've already got, I think, when we just go up, like 50 more items, so... Just a few more packs left, and, you know, I'm just praying for this Steve Smith, man. Like, even the Robert Mathis, like, still, it's at least, like, a 200 or 300,000 coin pool, depending on which guy that we get. But, like, we've, we've just got to get a good pool, man. Like, I've never had a limited time pool ever in any Madden game. I mean, like I said, I don't know if you could consider that Brett Favre pool a legend card pool or whatever, but if you guys want to consider that then go ahead i mean i'm going to consider it because it, it's still legend with brett Favre. but as for other type stuff where like you've got an actual limited time player where the cards are in packs for like 24 or 48 hours whatever i've never gotten oh that red flash scared me i've never gotten one of those so like why can't i just get it when it's a player that was on my own team or someone that like i really want to get with steve smith so this game changer pack at least we did wait we've got another elite oh man okay Dante Hightower, just another base elite. It's actually an alt chem, so two elites out of this one. You know, we're starting to get a little bit better. Well, final game changer pack. Wasn't very exciting. Did not get anything closely related to a Steve Smith, so jumping forward into the legend packs now. At least we're going to get, like, a collectible out of this, so I'm not going to freak out. Yeah, I was expecting the first red flash is uh, probably going to be that collectible that sells for nothing. I mean, it, it would be nice. Could we get, like, a Randy Moss collectible or... I don't even know what collectibles are in the game now that sell for a lot of coins with these legend packs, but we don't have a lot of space left in our binder, and uh, things for Steve Smith are not looking so good. Another collectible. Come on, where are these red flashes at? We've got to get one. Oh, okay. A Khalil Mack, another alt chem player. That's that's nice. I'll take it. Okay. Two elites in one pack. Now we've got a CO Moore, a football outsider. I think this is actually the most recent one, which is, yet yeah, week 16. Quick look at his stats for you guys. So I was able to go ahead and add a couple of more things and sets, especially, you know, for getting some badges. So we'll leave them there for now. We don't need to open those, but we've got about another 50 more slots open. So which results in, I think, maybe at least five more packs until that thing's going to fill up again. And then, honestly, at that point, probably not going to have too much more room to throw some stuff in some sets and get rid of them. But our hopes... Oh, man, for Steve Smith are slowly fading away. Man, why are you putting these legend collectibles in all pro packs, man? Like, come on. Oh, okay, we got a, a Sean Taylor. I don't think this is the rookie version, but, like, obviously it's part of the legend set. Probably doesn't go for too much, but hopefully it does. I mean, it, it has a chance of being selling for maybe a little bit of coins, but so far this all pro pack is actually turning out to be pretty good. And for our final gold player, okay, well... Wasn't an elite, but, you know, I, I guess I'll take those two. Next, all pro pack. What can we get? Can I see a red flash? Do the little stutter. There it is. That's the stutter. Oh, man, another base elite. Okay, elites have value, so I'll take it. So I've made space for one final all pro pack for Steve Smith, and then I'm going to open up these two elite player packs for you guys so you can at least see a couple of more elite players, which, again, these are from the gauntlet, so... We're going to be getting ourselves a new gauntlet player in the next episode of Ultimate Team. But final all pro pack, three final chances of gold players of being a team of the week, Steve Smith Sr. Let's see who we're going to get. Come on, man. Just please give me something. No, that's not what I want to see. I want to see the little stutter. Give me that red flash. Please let it be a Steve Smith. That's not him. Here we go. It's a legend collectible again, man. What is up with all these legend collectibles? Being in all pro packs, like, and we're going to finish it off with another gold player, man. Another episode, another video without getting a limited time player in these pack openings. I mean, one day, man, hopefully it can be this year, and I don't go another year of playing a Madden without a limited time player. I just don't understand what it is, why I can't get one, but 
Final two elite players we're going to get out of these elite player packs. Let's see if we can get somebody good. Like, give me a good elite player. Not an 85, like a 90 overall. Dude, I've gotten so many Mike Daniels. It's ridiculous. I'm about to quick sell this thing. Like, can I even sell it? At least I can sell it, man. I've gotten so many Mike Daniels. It's ridiculous. Final one. Let's see what elite player we are going to get. Can it be a Tom Brady, a Gronk, somebody? It's going to be a Derek Johnson. Well, there it is, you guys. No luck on the Steve Smith. There is now only one on the auction house for 600,000 coins. Uh, somehow this card just doubled in price. I don't really understand how, but one last look at the stats. Again, sucks that we're not going to get to see Steve Smith play ever again. Maybe at some point I'll build up enough coins and hopefully this card will drop in price to where I can get him for my team. But if not, I'm just going to wait until he probably gets an Ultimate Legend card, which will be... Obviously, the best version of him I'll have at some point. But I've got to get him for my team when he gets that ultimate legend. Might just let this one pass. So I guess I'll have to wait till I get that really good version of him. But thank you guys all so much for watching another video without another limited time pool. Sucks to suck, man. I don't understand. It's just we'll get it there eventually. But I've got a couple of episodes planned for you guys. It's going to be a while till they come out. I've just got to, you know, got to do some grind. I'm going to try and get them out as fast as I possibly can. I've already got one plan. That's uh, probably going to come out within the next day or so. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. But anyway, once again, thank you guys all so much for watching. And I will catch you all in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.